Hello and welcome. It is Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and it's the Stamp Around UK video hop. And welcome to this month's theme of winter. So please do do go and check out all the other hoppers in this uh, little wee hop that we do in the UK, UK demonstrators of Stampin' Up products. All right, so I went all wintry, <laughs> um, got out my little bit of shimmer paper, got things out that remind me of winter. So I've got just a lovely little collection of different things cut out out ready here ready to assemble so here I have a piece uh, it's a whole sheet actually of A4 boho blue cardstock and I've scored it down the middle uh, to make quite a large card and I'm going to be sticking this piece of beautiful vellum I will put the links in the description of all the products I've used because I don't always remember them as I'm making them uh, so it's some patterned vellum and then I've got some gorgeous sort of, can you see the shimmer on there? I'm hoping the lighting picks that up. A uh, piece of shimmer blue card. And I have cut this to the typical, uh, basically it's quarter of an A4 sheet in the UK. If you're using other international sizes, then just use a quarter of your standard size um, card stock. And I have trimmed this piece that I have cut from the, I believe it's the Perched in a Tree dies. I, again, I will list it in the description below, uh, although I do have it here. Aspen. They're not called Perched at all. They're called Aspen Trees dies. They go with the Perched in a Tree stamp set. That's why I'm thinking. Um, so recently Stampin' Up! have um, very kindly uh, unified the names of the stamp sets and dies. Although we do still have some sets that um, were from prior to them doing this new system. So um, it's, it is easier now when we have the dies the same name as the stamp sets. But uh, yeah, so we've got Aspen Tree dies that go with the Perch in the Tree stamps at the moment. So it cuts out this beautiful, very detailed sort of birch tree type effect. And it also embosses, let me get this up close so that you can see the embossing on there. Can you, hopefully the lighting's catching that too. So there you have it. Right, now the reason I wanted to stick this panel down first was because I want to hide the glue that I'm going to be sticking it onto here later on. So rather than putting glue all around my vellum like so, I'm actually just going to focus and put it in the middle. So I've decided to speed this little piece up because it took a little bit of time and I didn't think you needed to watch all of it. So I decided to cut out the daisies from the daisy die and use them like layering a few up. I had cut quite a few out and thought it was just fun to have for all those to play with. So here I am uh, tweaking with my good old trusty tweezers creating some dimension and then what I end up doing is just laying up quite a few of these together. Then I do have a little play with um, punching out some other small flowers and uh, then arranging them all nicely together. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave you with some nice Christmassy music just to watch the next bit of the process and uh, then I'll show you the final card.
All right, so there we have my winter themed card. And uh, it, yes, it is a Christmas card, but um, I love how the birch trees just create that lovely backdrop to the nativity and then just a really lovely floral element there at the center. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do go and have a look at the other hoppers uh, in this uh, video hop and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Lots of love. Take care for now. Bye.